Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday. It is the sun's day, meaning we have some guidance that is coming our way in our weekly tarot reading, okay? Before we go much further, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to the channel, all right? We're growing over here. We're gaining momentum. We're really finding our rhythm, aka me. I'm finding my rhythm with YouTube. This week ahead, we are blessed with three items that guide our intuition to which pile we were called to of tarot cards and oracle cards, okay? So this week, we have three of our elements at play, all right? So we've got water, earth, tree, and this candle for fire, Imagine a big old flame. So, now here's your chance to choose which pile you want. Are you water, earth, or fire? What are you attracted to this week, okay? Take a breath. Relax that jaw. <sighs> when was the last time you slowed down? When did you take a minute just for you to pause? And then keep going. This is your invitation to do just that. Take a pause and then keep it moving. These are so as we always do on my channel, we're gonna start out with our femme rituals. We're gonna light our candle to set our sacred space. I'm gonna lead us through a quick breathing exercise with a short meditation and then we will go into our cards. I'm gonna be starting with the lotion and really work that lotion into your hands. Our hands do so much for us. And so while these rituals came out of honoring the feminine individuals who are in my lineage directly and indirectly, this has turned into an act of self-love, an act of self-care. How often are you invited to pause and rub your hands, get some lotion in there? Massage each finger, allowing each finger a moment of its own. Mm. All right, next up, we've got our lips adorn these gorgeous babies and I can't find my lip gloss today. So everyone's just getting some chapsticks. Let's go ahead and hydrate those lips, y'all because we're about to be talking for a minute. I'm using Queendom Cultivation's Heart Chakra um, Aromatherapy Mist with the intention of I love. Go ahead and take a breath in. Mm. Here's one for you. Ooh. Mm, mm. Love. Woo. I'm ready to go. How about you? How about you? Okay, let's light our candle. Um, check it out. Oh, gorgeous gold candle and a nice little holder. So now go ahead and close your eyes and let's ground for a minute. We're gonna light our candle and then take our breaths together. We're gonna take three breaths together and on the third exhale, I want us to make some noise, okay? So wherever you are, take a moment to rest and feel your breath in and out. And as we're breathing, I will light this candle and imagine this candle, this fire element as we strike the match, clearing the space wherever you are, setting the intention to allow the wisdom of our weekly tarot reading to come through to you wherever you are, whenever you find this. May this message resonate and provide some simple guidance. Okay, everyone, now let's take our three breaths together. And as we take these three breaths, imagine each breath recharging you. As you breathe in, breathe that life force energy into your body. And as you exhale, exhale any stagnation, any stuck energy, anything that needs to be let loose in this moment. So let us breathe together. Ready? In and out. Breathe in and out. And this is our third breath and our exhale. Make some noise. Ready? Breathe in 
and out. <sighs> when we make that noise, when we exhale, it just wakes our body up. It alerts all of our guides. It alerts our internal mechanics that says, hey, be present. Something's going on. This noise, this vibration says, pay attention to where you are. Messages are coming through. So I'm gonna play the singing bowl. And as I do, begin to relax into your space. Breathe normally. Following your breath in and out. You are here today to open your mind, heart, and spirit to the wisdom of the tarot cards, to the wisdom of the elements, water, earth, fire. May they guide your wisdom. May they ground you. May they open you. And may they protect you on this journey. Look into your heart space as you open up to the world and the energies around you. Turn that inner eye in. Look in your heart space. What is waiting for you there? What message? What wisdom? What wants to come through? sound to vibrate through your body. And as you feel the vibrations come into your heart space, that wisdom is activated again. Come back to the space. Come back to the moment. Come back to the here and now. With whatever message your heart whispered to you. And allow this chunk of rose quartz to solidify that message. Let it pick up any residual doubts in yourself, any disbelief in the, your ability to accomplish your goals, everything you might need. Rose Quartz picks up everything that's holding you back and it reminds you that the love you have for yourself will guide your way. The love you have for yourself will empower you. Empower you to take action to better yourself in whatever way is needed. Mm -hmm. I hope that brief meditation opened you up, allowed some wisdom to come from that heart space, and then that, that rose quartz really cleared up that auric field and grounded you in your own self-love. 
So this week is pretty exciting because we're using some new decks to me. Um, as always, we're using our Moon Baby Magic Tarot by the fantastic Angela Mary Magic. And then we're using the True Heart Intuitive Tarot by Rachel True. So excited to try this out. Um, my friend Sarah, let me borrow her deck. Shout out to Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. And then our Oracle deck for this week. Yes, we're using two tarot decks and one Oracle deck is from Colette Baron reed the Oracle of the Seven Energies. I'm really excited to look at this deck. We're doing water, earth, and fire. Our first up is water. So those of you who chose water, healing water, flowing water, moon baby magic tarot. Ooh. Ten of Caves Birthright. What a blessing this is. And our moon phase is the Waxing Gibbous Moon, which talks about calibration. Okay, Waxing Gibbous Moon calibration in a blue field of protection and truth and ancestors. Water this week. I love the blue and the water. Um, this week, you're having some big realizations. You're having some completions. Whatever is coming to full circle moments, whether it's related to your home, your personal body, um, your financial situations, whatever comes up this week, there are gonna be some completions. Pay attention to what's ending. Honor it. Things that maybe you've been working towards thinking about for a while are lining up for you this week, Water. Ten of Caves, Birthright. Okay, this is a great card. As you see, it's just pure abundance. Caves are pentacles. So this week, Water, you are abundant. Things line up for you as, as if they were meant just for you this week. So when things really just open and there's ease and grace and there's a sense of rightness, whatever you're working on this week, whatever that feeling is placed in, follow that. Why are we wasting our time on the other things that aren't fulfilling us, that aren't taking us down our birthright path? If you chose water, you have been pushing through so much. Now is the time to enjoy it. Now is the time to bask in the glory of all of the work. Okay? And ooh, with this is the King of Swords reversed. King of Swords reversed. And this is reminding us that in this abundance right here that you are experiencing this week, um, water, in the abundance, I love this blue fields are matching, do not be narrow-minded. Do not be limited in your thinking, okay? In realizing your dreams and realizing the abundance that is around you, the blessings that are flowing to you this week. Don't be so narrow-minded. Don't. Why would you limit yourself? When you limit your vision of what you could be receiving, the blessings that you could be receiving, you are telling the universe that you're not worthy of those things. And that's certainly not true. Do not let this king's energy, this energy of the shrew, um, real stickler for things of like, ah, that wasn't exactly what I asked for. So that's clearly not the blessing from the universe. This scrutiny from the king of swords is really going to come up against this energy of the 10 of caves and really present a friction for you this week. So if you're not believing that this is the gift, that this is the thing that you've been promised, that this is your birthright, then you're not going to notice it and you're going to pass it by and you're not going to allow that blessing to come into your life this week. Okay, water? So don't do that. Be open and recognize all the work, all the hard, um, all the hard efforts that you had to put in came into alignment this week for you. And just be open to receiving those. Don't be shut down. Don't let this king hold you back from realizing the blessings that are coming into you this week. It's your birthright. But guess what? We can deny seeing clearly these birthrights. Especially because something tells us that we're being extra cynical this week. Why? Don't be cynical. No. We're finding our balance. We're not just full steam like, whoa, let's be crazy. No, this king teaches us that, okay, we're going to celebrate. But we're going to like celebrate and also remember that there's other things to accomplish. But we're not going to allow that to hold us back. Okay. Celebrate while knowing that there's more to see and be done and celebrate these. Ooh, number 16, the royal you. 
Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I love this. Oh, 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 I love this. So while we're being somewhat cautious, even though you don't have to be, um, and we're really opening up our eyes to what's before us and we're telling our thoughts like, calm down, get out of the way, okay? Like we're recognizing our blessings that are coming in. This royal you reminds you that this is all part of your divinity. This is all part of the blessings that are coming to you, that you get to live and exist in. It's so wonderful. This Ten of Caves really opens us up. This King of Swords says, listen, don't be narrow-minded in how you look at things. And then because you are a royal being, you are worthy of all of the blessings of the universe. A sense of empowerment. Hello. Yes, empowerment. Rose Quartz was here to empower us. This is all beautiful. Part of how you were able to really step into this birthright is because of the confidence that you've had, because of the effort that you've put forward. You have been really um, measured in how you approach these things. You didn't just fly full steam ahead crazy, balls to the wall. You were like, let me be cautious about this. Let me really think and be smart because this is really wonderful, but you worked really hard to get there. You deserve it and earned it, all while recognizing that you worked hard. This moon says we're gonna calibrate between these two cards. Royal, beauty, self-empowerment, you deserve it with, I'm not so sure, what about this? This mixing, this blending is really allowing you to fully lean into the Ten of Caves and really reap the birthright and the abundance that is flowing to you this week, water. Oh, I just love that message for you. Yes. Okay, water, thank you. Who's up for their wood element now? Oh, and I just got the hit that we're gonna spray this heart chakra spray after that reading. Here we go. This is for all you who chose water. Mm, may you celebrate and be in your bliss this week because you worked hard to find that balance. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, Earth, here we go. It's your turn now. We're gonna start with our Moon Baby Magic card and here it is. The Devil, keyword control under a waning crescent moon, which talks about our ability to manifest, which is really good with this card, let's be real. Um, in this yellowy background, which is talking about communication. Um, the devil card shows up today, Earth, to remind you that you've set some goals for yourself and you made some decisions and it brought you to where you are today. Um, you know, the devil is really connected to choices that we have made um, over time, right? And how those choices have really brought us here. Um, and we're self-sabotaging some stuff here, okay? So we're getting in our own way. It's time to get out of our way. We need to recognize that we've already put the ball in motion, so let's follow it through a little bit. There's a flow to our life, and the more we try to control it, the more we risk of uh, getting ourselves out of our flow. Because we often think we know what's best, but sometimes when we try to direct where our flow is going, we're actually taking us away from the direction we need to be going. Okay, let me say that again. Sometimes when we try to direct the flow, we take ourselves away from the direction we need to be going in. Is, ooh, Queen of Cups, intuition. Beautiful pairing with this right here. So while we're trying to understand this devil, this need to control, the understanding of the decisions we've made, potential self-sabotaging that we're doing, our self-fulfilling prophecies, the Queen of Cups hits us today and says, hey, you have the ability to see through what's going on right now. You are a deeply intuitive, psychic being. Follow your own flow. Follow your own breath. And that will intuitively lead you through these difficult decisions, these um, 
difficult realizations that maybe we were blocking ourselves and we are our own inner saboteur. She says, it's all right. You may be caught up in this cycle that might be self-destructive. You might be in some codependent relationships or codependent on substances, books, sleep, whatever it is. The queen shows up and says, hey, it's all right. That was a coping mechanism and a strategy that you needed to do. We're going to get through this. We got it. Don't worry. So really love these two together. And again, the key to work through all of this is to listen to your intuition and to communicate. This yellow is telling us to communicate this week. Endless possibilities. Oh, I love that. As you are rebalancing, as you are getting ready to manifest where you want to head using your psychic intuition, your ability to pause and really sense the flow around you and move into it, you are open to endless possibilities. All things are possible right now for you, okay, Earth Element? This is a really, really juicy, delicious reading because what it says is that if you put in this work right now that the devil is asking us to, to address where we're codependent, to address where we're sabotaging ourselves, and we listen to the wisdom of this Queen of Cups right here, the wisdom from within, the wisdom from being open to recognizing that we're in a difficult situation, that when we use these two energies under this moon, we can manifest endless possibilities for ourselves. Oh, I love that earth. Let me tell, tell me what you think about it, those of you who chose earth. What do you think? Mm, 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 mm. Last but certainly not least, we've got our candle. Fire. Here we go. We got our moon baby magic card coming at ya. Oh, we got the nine of waves manifest under a new moon in a purple field. Purple, the color speaks about our psychic knowing, our intuition, our connection with our guides, right? There is real wisdom flowing between you and the etheric realm this week, fire. And you're really in your own bloom phase right now. This nine of waves says, oh my gosh, I'm about ready to celebrate. I'm about ready to burst. And you get to decide which direction are you going to burst in? Which direction are you going to bloom in? What are you going to manifest in your life this week? Fire. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love that little kitty in the cups. And the new moon is really about initiations and opportunities to really, really attempt to consciously manifest what you're looking for this week. Fire. Okay. I'm really loving on the nines right now. The nines give me that full energy of like, I can do it all. I got this. Whereas the tens are like the full on bliss. The, the nine says, oh my gosh, you realize your own internal strength. So this week you are realizing your strength fire your strength and ability to manifest whatever comes up and because it's in waves as well this talks about a little bit of your own flow how you've been operating in your world and your own cosmos and the bigger grand scheme of culture society there's a real sense of realization and um celebration to be had this week for you fire okay so where um have you manifested your desires in your world. Tell us, fire, tell us where you've manifested them. I wanna know. And then our in true heart intuitive tarot card is, oh, the eight of wands. Okay, so this is really a great card about expansion of the mind. So, oh, I just love this, an eight and a nine. Um, you are in a moment of true energetic creative expansion fire. This week, you have the ability to really bring these creative forces and put them into play. Okay, so especially with this nine of waves, um, this nine of cups, it says you can really manifest whatever you want. And because you're so open, you're going to need to focus in a little bit, right? This eight of wands says you can expand and grow and shape and shift whatever you want. So whatever direct uh, section of your life, whether it's in your love life or your friendships or your personal, uh, how you show up for yourself, right? Your work ethic, whatever it is, this week you have the ability to really manifest 
what you want and really grow in an area, but you need to pick that. Okay, fire. This is your opportunity to really pick where you're going to grow. What do you want to work on? What do you want to accomplish? We're coming up to the end of the like calendar year that uh, the muggles follow. So where do you want to grow? What areas do you want to expand upon that you really saw some shift and movement in this year in 2021? Last but not least, our Oracle of the Seven Energies card is Perfect Harmony. Ugh. Gross, vomit. I love this. I love this for you, fire. This week is a good week for you, fire. You, if you put that mind and your ability to expand and grow and you connect it with your desire to manifest and really see where you've stepped up to the plate and manifest in those realms, you're going to be in this perfect harmon harmonious flow with the universe, with yourself. It's going to be just like the river. It's just moving, never stopping, always going. It's this pure, like divine orchestration this week for you, fire. Oh, I love that. Okay. Mm. Water. It's time to recognize that you've been really smart. Don't be narrow-minded. You've been cautious, but it's time to release some of that cautious energy and really celebrate with this 10 of caves birthright and this royal you you have worked so hard your self love your self empowerment all of your dedication and your tight tight eye and vision of situations has really allowed you to come into this week and celebrate you've worked hard enjoy it earth you have been controlling a little bit too much you have been sabotaging yourself you've been relying too much on others or past decisions that you've made it's time to open up to your intuition and your inner knowing and your inner ability to really hold a lot of space and really see what's going on give some clarity with this queen of cups to the devil and really recognize that you're able to manifest whatever you want now you're at a point where you get to turn directions change and really head where you want to go with this endless possibility all right earth and last but not least fire you are in a perfect harmonious moment of really mental expansion growth creativity all with the ability to manifest whatever you want and really step into the flow of being you fire you're offered this new opportunity don't miss it week what do you think Tell me, did these messages resonate with you? All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for being here with me. Remember, these messages from the cards are here for you all week and whenever you need them. Come back to these weekly messages. Thank you, thank you. Don't forget to like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. Okay, y'all, sending you so much love and sunshine. May you be a ray of sunshine in your communities and expand that sunlight wherever you are. Bye, y'all.